Hi everyone, it's John Dyslexic Geek here. In today's video, I'm gonna go through all the new Lego releases that are coming out in December. I can't believe we're nearly at the end of 2023. This year has absolutely flown by, uh, particularly these last two or three months. It's just mad that it's nearly Christmas. Pretty unusual for Lego to release uh, sets in December. They don't generally do it. Generally, uh, more often than not, November is the last month of Lego releases, but this year, uh, they're releasing some big sets in December. Uh, I'm guessing Lego wants some of that uh, Christmas uh, pre-Christmas money is what I'm thinking. So I go through all these sets that are going to be coming out and, it, and go through the uh, various promos that are going to be available. So let's get going. So the first set that's going to be available on the 1st of December is the Icons Tiny Plants set. This set which will be costing $50, £45 or €50. Euros. I have a sneaky feeling this one might be very popular. Um, 758 pieces. I think it looks really, really good. Uh, I think this is going to do very well. I think it's incredibly well pr priced. I think this is going to make a really good Christmas gift for so many different people. Uh, I love all the different sort of plants. I think it looks really good, a very good variety. The plant pots do look really, really good. I like all the plants coming in different sizes and different colours. I think it's a very, very lovely set. And I can see this, but I say this, I think this is going to be very, very popular. Uh, I think they say Lego really got the price on this one really, really well. Uh, yeah, really, really good set. Very much so. Looking forward to this one. Next, we have the Icons Natural History Museum modular. Uh, this, as you can see, is coming out on December the 1st, or some people have already got this. I certainly do. I think if you pre-ordered it online, uh, Lego have, been, by all reports, been sending them out to quite a few people, so you may already have this by now. But if not, it's going to be in stores from December the 1st, and will be costing $300, $260, or €300. Euros and contains 4,014 pieces, which I think makes it the, the largest uh, LEGO modular building to date. Uh, it is going to be the flagship uh, modular going forward with the Assembly Square retiring this year. Uh, I think this is fantastic. I'm really looking forward to building mine. I think this is going to go really, really, I think this is going to, this is going to go really well into anyone's modular street. It does look really, really cool. I uh, really do love the uh, dinosaur um, skeleton. That looks good. Uh, like the minifigures, I think it's an excellent set. I think it's going to be very popular. And I think it's going to be a worthy successor to the Assembly Square being the flagship um, modular. Um, I think it's really good. I love this. I say that the dinosaur um, skeleton is really, really cool. I think it's going to be, I think it's great. I'm so really looking forward to placing mine in my modular street. Not quite sure where I'm going to be placing mine yet. I might have to have a little play around to see where I'm going to put it. But yeah, this is very good. It's very unusual. Normally, the modulars release on January the 1st, but this year, they've Jet Lego are releasing it on, on December the 1st, which is a bit of a break into tradition for me in recent years. It's like, well, long since I can remember. I've always gone to the Lego store on New Year's Day to pick up the latest modular, but this year, uh, this is um, a new, maybe a start of a new trend. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's, it's exciting to get it early, but I kind of hope next year maybe Lego go back to the New Year's Day release again. Uh, that means we've had two te technically two modulars in 2023 now. So, yeah, not it swings in both ways. One way is exciting getting it early, but at the same time, I, I'm a traditionalist and I, like, I used to like the idea of uh, going to pick it up, pick, pick up the new modular, new modular on the first of uh, on January. But this year's different. But there we go. It looks really cool. Uh, so I'm looking forward to building mine. Really, really good set. And the final set for 2023 is going to be the Ideas Orient Express. Um, I cannot wait to get my hands on this. I am super excited. Now that people have got, got these sets in their hands, it looks like it can be motorised. Whilst this is officially supported by LEGO, it does look relatively easy to uh, modify, so you can run power functions with it. It is certainly what I'm going to be doing. I've got all the various components, so I will be attempting to try and motorise it. As you can see, the set's going to come out on December the 1st. We'll be retailing for $300, £260 or €300. Euros, and it will be containing 2,540 pieces. Now, this is, it's, it's expensive. Um, don't get me wrong. Um, I think the reason why... Now, Lego said and it, it's not they don't officially support motorisation of it because the model's too heavy. Um, but from the videos that I've seen, I'm not sure... If that's the case or not, I don't know. I mean, from what I've seen, it does run quite well on, on the on, you know, being motorised. Um, my, my, I'm guessing maybe if that Lego had included some sort of motorisation aspect to it, maybe it would have cost more. I don't know. I'm not quite sure why they don't officially endorse motorisation, but 
maybe over long term, maybe that might be something to do with it, maybe something, might, I don't know, I, I really don't know. But the fact it can be done, that's a real bonus. And I think it's a really beautiful looking set. Um, it's quite a lot of stickers from what I understand, which is a bit of a shame, but oh, it's a beautiful train. Really, really beautiful, absolutely stunning. Really, really, um, uh, I think it's a big improvement maybe over the concept, the fact that it's minifigure scale. Uh, I've been really looking forward to this. I'm a huge train nerd, so it certainly is one I can't wait to get my hands on. I think the colour scheme is really nice, it's beautiful blue. Um, I believe the signs on the carriages, I think they have printed pieces, but I think there's a few stickers around uh, various parts of the um, set, but I think it's great. I'm really looking forward to it. I really will, I will be buying this on day one. I cannot wait to get my hand on it, my hands on it. Really cool. I say it's a nice, big, substantial build. The minifigures look great. And it's a really good set, really, to sort of end 2023 on. It's a superb set. I'm really looking, really, really looking forward to this. Now, for anybody in Europe who's looking to get their Orient Express set signed, uh, LEGO are doing set signings on various dates. As you can see, they'll be in London, Leicester Square on December the 1st, uh, between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m., which is I don't know what Lego are thinking with that. That's an absolutely a terrible timing. Why do a set signing on, on a Friday at 10, just for one hour between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m.? It's a very bizarre one. Why not do it? I don't know what they've done at the weekend. I think the UK really have been shortchanged there. It's been not quite sure how popular that's going to be, especially as a working day. Trying to get into London for between 10 a.m. and 11, 11 a.m. For anybody who goes into London, that's not easy. It can be quite expensive, but that is peak time traveling on the train. So, yeah, that's a really... Not sure what Lego are thinking with that. Well, I couldn't do it at the weekend, but that's the way it is. On December the 2nd, they will be in Paris uh, between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. Amsterdam on December the 3rd between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. They will be in Munich on December the 4th between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. They are in Strasbourg on December the 5th between 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. And finally, back in Paris, uh, a different store, the So So Ouest, I think that's said, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. That will be on December the 9th between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. So I believe these um, set signings are supposed to be part of all form, part of the Orient Express route, I believe. That's why they've done these locations. But I really wish the UK one had been a bit more of a practical set up timing. I mean, 10 a.m. just for one hour is really not helpful. Why I couldn't do it maybe in the evening. That's obviously that's, that's the time constraints, but these are dates if you're looking to get it signed. I, I really would like to, but no, nah, there's no way I'm making it making it into the Lego store for 10 a.m. on Friday. That's just not realistic. But for everybody else, you've got a good opportunity to get these um this, your Orient Express set signed by the um, designer. Moving on to the uh, Christmas promo sets, the first of which is the Christmas decor set, which are these hanging baubles that you can put on your Christmas tree. This is going to be available for minimum spends of $70. 50 pounds or 70 euros. This will be available in store and online from the 1st of December through to the 14th. Obviously this will be subject to stock. I think this is really, really cool. Uh, I think it's a really nice practical Christmas gift that I will certainly be putting on my Christmas tree this year. I think they look really good. Uh, so, and the bit minimum buying is not too high, so that's quite fair, I think. And the second one is going to be the wintertime carriage ride. I think this is really, really classy. I think this is really good. This one does require a minimum spend of $150, $120 pounds or €150, Euros, which is a little bit expensive, but not as bad as what I was fearing. And again, like the Christmas baubles or the Christmas decor set, this one will be available in store and online from the 1st of December through to the 14th, but obviously subject to stock. So these will both stack. So if you pick up both the, uh, if you pick up either the Natural History Museum or the Orient Express, you will get both of these, which is pretty good. I think they're both really nice. I love the three minifigures in this. Although the, the driver not having any reins, it's a very bizarre, looks looks, looks fine, but once you say, once I see it, you can't help not notice it, if you, if you know what I mean. But lovely box art. I think it'll go really well in uh, in my winter display that I'm planning. Uh, very, very reminiscent of a New York uh, Central Park carriage ride. I mean, it looks really, I love the wheels, lovely color scheme, and the, car the carriage looks pretty decent, so that's good. Now there is going to be another promo that's going to be available that we haven't technically been confirmed yet and it is another Winter Fun VIP uh, expansion set. It's got a set number which is 40610 but this has not been shown yet by Lego um, but I think there's, there are pictures out there of it. Um, it's going to be slightly different to the, the Winter Fun pack that came out in early November 
um, with a few different elements in it but no concrete details of this yet of when it's going to be available but it's expected to be maybe around the 11th of december so look forward to that and there are also rumors of a novel another double insider point weekend um, this is believed to be running from the 11th of december to coincide maybe with the, with the winter fun pack this hasn't been confirmed yet so when details are, are, are confirmed to that i will let you know but that's a rumor at the moment so do bear that in mind that it looks like there's going to be another double insider point event so that's pretty handy just before christmas so that is pretty much it for 2023 um, i can't quite believe we're at the end now this has been an absolutely fantastic year for lego full of uh, really exciting sets 2024 really does have a lot to live up to but as it goes forward so i'm sure there'll be a lot of more surprises in store for next year i personally cannot wait uh, there's a lot of sets that are rumored and it's going to be uh, a really exciting uh, 2024 i feel in a couple of weeks time i will be doing my worst lego sets for 2023 which has not been too many of in fairness but there have been a few not so good sets so look look out for that and of course i will be doing my best of uh, 2023 lego set video uh, that one i'm really looking forward to, to doing that's going to be quite hard trying to narrow that down to I'm not, I'm not sure if i'm going to do a top 10 or maybe a top 12 i don't quite know yet it's going to be might be too difficult to try and get down to 10 but we'll have to wait and see and see what i feel but look keep an eye out for that those two videos in, in a couple of weeks time so there we go so let me know are you look planning on getting any, any of these sets in december what's going to be looking forward to getting can i please i should leave a like and if you've enjoyed today's video i'll be very grateful if you consider subscribing today I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks very much for watching today.